Hey, I'm Ben Clark from Queen City Clay, and I wanted to tackle a frustration point for students today, which is the needle tool. A lot of times you're gonna end up with an uneven rim, and I've noticed that the go-to movement is like a kill shot from the gut. And when you are moving that clay and you decide to jab like this, it's going to grab the needle tool immediately and drop. So positioning the needle is key. You don't want to try and cut off the very tip top. At least drop the needle down a half inch from your trouble spot or the lowest spot you want to remove. And then if you come in at an aggressive angle, it's gonna collect very quickly and twist your pot. If you come in at too much of a forgiving angle, it's gonna bend the wall in. So a 45 degree angle is key so that the point of the needle tool hits the wall and gradually cuts through. You also need to have a nice level. You notice that my needle tool is perfectly parallel with the bat. It's not angled up or down. Once I have that position, I make sure my arm is anchored on my leg for good support. I get consistent speed with the wheel and I slowly cut through the wall over several turns of the wheel while supporting the inside of the pot with my finger of my left hand. So a slow cut, when I feel that needle tool touch my finger, I lift, all right? That gives you a good, clean removal of the problem spot on your pot and allows you to continue your throw. Too much pressure just from the outside, kill shot. Having a thin top and trying to just get the very edge, kill shot. So here's to more success with the needle tool. Thanks for watching.